Hey guys, Carl here, and today we're gonna to be talking about five tips and tricks to get the most out of your Sony A6000 camera. These are tips for beginners, intermediates, and professionals that should give you the best quality photos and video out of the A6000 camera. So let's jump into it. My number one thing to do when you first get this camera is to turn off the auto on of the EVF. So if you're holding this thing close up to your body like this, or if you're doing something with it and you kind of wave over it, it turns off the back LCD screen and it gets just really annoying. In order to do this, you have to go into the settings, go to finder monitor and select either monitor or viewfinder. You can't, in this camera, it's really annoying. You can't specify a button to switch between the two of them. I have that set up on my A7S III where you can just touch a button and it goes between viewfinder and the screen in the back. It's really helpful if you don't wanna have that auto switch. Um, this one you can only choose between the two of them and you have to leave it like that. So you could you could kind of go back and forth and adjust that. Like if, you're, if you know you're only gonna shoot with the back screen, I would set it just as the, uh, as the monitor. But if you know you're gonna shoot with just the, find, the viewfinder, then I would set it just as the viewfinder. It just makes it real easy when you not have to worry about, um, you know, auto switching that off and on, it makes it nice. So that's the number one thing I would do first off is set that up. Next tip to keep your A6000 in tip top shape and allow you to take great photos and video is to keep your sensor clean. I would definitely get some of these sensor cleaners. They're little uh, APS-C size sensor cleaners. You'll see them up on the screen right now and they're real easy to use just to keep your sensor clean. And even if you're on the field, if you're on your vacation or something, maybe every night, pull your lens off real fast, clean, you know, give your, your lens a little, little uh, blow, give your sensor a little blow. And then after or before you go on your trip or whatever it is, then I would definitely, uh, you know, clean that off. That's uh, tip number two to keep this thing tip top shape. Never touch the sensor with your bare fingers. Never touch it with anything corrosive. Um, don't ever touch it with anything wet or oils or anything like that, unless you wanna ruin your sensor and ruin your camera. It's very soft, specifically out of the wrapper with a, a cleaning solution. That's how you touch your sensor. And it's definitely something that is important to do to all of your cameras, especially over time, they get dirty, they need to be cleaned. Professional cleaning is awesome highly recommend getting your sensor cleaned. And that's one of the big things for the A6000. Um, they're older now, they've been around, they've been in the dirt and dust and grime, just a positive things to do to your camera. Get it cleaned up. Tip number three is clear image zoom. This camera has clear image zoom. It's awesome, I love it. It's just called zoom in your functions. So I would set you know one of your buttons to zoom and then you just hold it down and then you can adjust your, your zoom in. Uh, so like this kit lens here, that's a 16 to 50 is somewhere in that like 24 to 75 range. If I was to use clear image zoom on it, it just, it gives you a lot more lens choices when you're using it. Now it does come with some caveats. It does zoom in or crop in more on the sensor. So you will have more noise. You will have worse low light, worse dynamic range. But in a pinch, if you need to get a little bit closer to something, it works really well. And you can clean that stuff up in post for the most part. So clear image zoom, tip number three, highly recommend you, uh, you use that on the A6000. Tip number four to get the most out of your A6000, and this is something that we've all probably dealt with from time to time, is overheating and how to stop overheating on this camera. If you're using this for you know interview setup or if you're shooting something for long periods of time, a time lapse, something along those lines, you're going to come up against this issue. The first thing to do, I highly recommend, would be to get a dummy battery. It's fairly inexpensive in today's day and age, but you get a dummy battery and you can just, this thing has a flip out right here. So it's got a little piece on the, um, on the battery door that comes off and just folds down. They almost want you to use a dummy battery at some point and you can hang a cable out of the bottom of this and charge this guy from something else. And that way it won't overheat because this is the number one source of heat for your camera is your battery. As soon as this thing gets up to a certain temperature where it's almost a little uncomfortable to hold, one, you're probably almost out of battery and two, because these things don't hold a lot and two, it's gonna 
give you a lot of heat dissipation into your camera body itself. So number one thing to do there is to get a dummy battery. Number two, if you're in a pinch and you're somewhere where you don't have a dummy battery, is open up that battery door and run the camera with the battery door open and flip the LCD screen away from the camera because this thing gets hot too and it allows more air pass through between the, um, the LCD screen and the actual camera body itself. So those are two, th two other ways to get away from overheating. The, the surefire way, the best way to do it is the dummy battery, but those two other solutions will help out in the long run overall. So kill the overheating within the camera and just do those three things. You should be off to the races. Okay, tip number five is how to increase battery life on the A6000. I only have one battery for this guy and it doesn't last all that long. I'm constantly flipping it on and off just to save battery. And that's number one way to do it is just keep on turning it off and on. The other way, if you don't wanna keep turning it off and on and you just want it running in the background is you can set this guy up to go on sleep mode. And that is very helpful. So if I have this thing on and after around, uh, I think it's 30 seconds what I have it set up as right now, 30 seconds of not using it, not pressing any buttons or anything, it goes into a sleep mode. And then as soon as I press the uh, shutter button once, like I'm gonna go focus on something, it turns back on very quickly and you can just start taking photos again. So super helpful. It works in all modes, manual, photo, and video. The other thing to do is to set this guy up on airplane mode. Now, even if you don't have it connected to anything, it's always gonna be kind of searching and trying to find something to connect to, your phone or something along those lines, because these can connect to your phone, you control it off your phone. If you set up airplane mode, it kills all of that stuff so that it saves battery life overall, not having it search for anything in the background. It's just like your cell phone. If you were to turn it on, bat on uh, airplane mode all day long, your battery would last like five days or something because you wouldn't be using it for anything that's power consuming. And that's the same thing goes for these cameras. Okay, so we set our power save start time for 10 seconds. So I just hit the shutter button one time just now. And we're gonna wait 10 seconds. And it should turn off for us. So it's just, oh, there it goes, there you go. So we just, just pretend that I'm out shooting and I just put it down. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the shutter button once, it turns back on and I'm ready to go again. And then it waits another 10 seconds, I take a couple photos. There you go, I took a photo. Now 10 seconds later, Ten seconds. Oh, there it goes. It's just turned off. Done. Okay. Highly recommend the battery save mode or the power save mode rather uh, to turn that on first and foremost. Then turn it on to airplane mode as that's the next thing. If you can't do those two things, then just turn it off and on a lot during the day. You're just going to wear out your switch. You're going to wear out your camera. Number six, bonus one. You want a bonus one? I always like bonus ones. Take advantage of the XAVCS codec or mode in this camera. You're gonna get a better video codec out of this camera if you use the XAVCS codec. And you can shoot, you, you do have to have the faster card. So you need a V60 card is what they say. Oh, this is V30, it works just fine. Maybe not, but they do say you need a V60 card to run the XAVCS function on the A6000. It's gonna be easier to edit, so on and so forth. So XAVCS, 1080p, I highly recommend that as tip number six, bonus tip for you. All right, guys, so those are my five plus a couple bonus tips on how to get the most out of your Sony a6000 camera. This camera is so fun to use, and when you can do little things to get more out of it, it's always nice. I, I love walking around with this camera and just using the little kit lens that came with it with the 16 to 50 lens. It takes a great photo. It does okay in the video spectrum. I highly recommend all of these features for this a6000 camera. You're gonna get the most out of it, and you're going to enjoy it more. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something from this and uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up if you like it. Maybe subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.